iOS 26 beta 1 is finally here. It looks like an amazing update. Now we have a lot of changes here, a lot of UI designs, and of course a lot of things will be updated in the next few betas. So don't expect this to be what it will actually ship to the public because it's still on early beta. Even though a lot of users of course will want to update to iOS 26 beta 1. And if you do so, if you update, then there are a few different settings that I suggest you should change once you have updated your device to the new iOS 26 beta 1 and we're starting with the battery settings so we have a totally like changed battery settings section right here everything is different from what we had on iOS 18 now right here we have the time to charge right there and then right here we have the apps the consumption and all that and then here we have power mode well, you will find the old low power mode, but you will also find adaptive power. Now, adaptive power will help your iPhone have a longer battery life by adapting, of course, your iPhone to your needs. Now, this feature, even though it has been added with iOS 26 beta 1, it is disabled by default. So if you want to use it, then go ahead and turn it on right here. Now, Apple has done an amazing job with the phone app on iOS 26 beta 1. And here's a setting that I believe everyone must turn on. It is called screen incoming calls. Now you can find this by going to your settings, go to apps and then go to phone, scroll down here and you will have this option here to enable this feature, which will basically screen calls from unknown numbers when they call you it will basically screen them so you will first have to see you will actually see who it is or what they're talking about and then you can decide whether you want to pick up the call or not now here is another setting that you can change on the phone app now you probably have seen the event where apple introduced ios 26 and they actually focused a lot on the phone app and this new section that they have basically unified everything you need in one place well once you open your phone app for the first time on iOS 26 beta 1, you will see something like this, which looks very similar to the old one, so you won't actually see everything in one place. Now what you need to do is change the setting right here. So you just tap that button, and then right here you will have the chance to move between classic and unified. You will have the classic turned on by default. Just go ahead and switch to unified, and you're good to go. Moving back here under the general settings, if you go here, you will see a new section called screen capture. Now we have a few settings here that I believe you must change. Now, first of all, we have the format. Now you can take HDR screenshots on your iOS 26 device. Now this will be the default, the SDR, but you can just tap right there on HDR, which will of course have a way higher quality, but at the same time, of course, it will be bigger in size, so it will take more space on your device. But if you just wanna have better screenshots, you can go ahead and select this option. Now another thing you must turn on is automatic visual lookup now you probably have seen on the presentation apple using visual intelligence to identify things on your screen and just search them or ask chat gpt well by default that is actually turned off you can go ahead and turn it on right here that way you will be able to use that cool new feature of ios 26. Now, another really cool thing that you can do with iOS 26 is that you can turn off this setting right here. And what it does is that when you take a screenshot on your device, it will just put it right here. So it will be just like a thumbnail and you just remove it. It is saved to your camera roll. Now, of course, you will have the option to always tap on it and go back to the full view. But now you can choose what you want to do. You want to have this like method or if you enable it, right here then you can go ahead and take a screenshot and it would go like to this main screen automatically so let's just do that again it's not working of course it's still buggy but let's just try it out let's get out of here and there it goes so now it goes on the full screen mode if you have more than one sim on your device here's what you can do with ios 26 head on to the focus modes, go to any of your focuses, and what you can do now is that you can add a new filter for the phone app, which will actually allow you to choose from which number, from which line that you have, you wanna filter the calls. So you will have them right here, you can choose 
which ones you want to use or not and be able to actually add that new filter to your focus modes. The Messages app also has gotten a lot of cool updates. One of them is the ability to add backgrounds to your conversations. Well, you will have to first enable that because it will be disabled by default. To do that, you head on to your settings, go under apps, find messages, and then just scroll down here and you will have something that says right here, conversation backgrounds. You go ahead, enable that, and then you will be able to have conversation backgrounds that you can set from your photos or using the Apple AI to the background of your conversations. Now, right here on the messages, you will have also the same settings as for the phone app where you can screen unknown senders. You enable it right here and then you will also have a section to allow notifications. So you can choose to allow notifications for time sensitive if it includes any alert. So maybe a verification code or something like that for your personal transactions and promotions as well. So you can choose if you want to just uh, basically leave something out of those unknown numbers that are being screened. Maybe when you have like a verification code, it will go through so you can go ahead and enable them right here. And last but not least is right here again under the messages app. It is called send photo previews. Now when using low data mode, it will actually send a preview of the picture that you want to send and not the full picture. So you can enable it right here and it says send lower quality previews before the full photo. Only the preview will be sent in low data mode. So on low data mode, it won't send actually the full image, but only the preview. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 12 new settings that you will be able to find on the new iOS 26 beta 1 that I think you should change once you have updated your device to the new iOS 26 beta 1. Again, this is a great update, even though it's still in the first beta, it's really early. It should be even better with the next few updates. So can't wait to see what Apple has in stores. And I've seen a lot of people complain about the designs and everything, but a lot will actually change until it gets ready to be released to the public. So it should be an amazing update once it's ready to actually be shipped out to the public. So anyway, if you have installed iOS 26 beta one on your device, or you plan to install it in the upcoming days, make sure you go ahead and change these settings that I showed you guys in this video, because they will help you experience iOS 26 beta one even better, because as you could see some of the features, even though Apple talked about them at WWDC 2025, they are actually by default disabled on your phone. So make sure you change these settings and you will have an amazing experience using your device on iOS 26 beta one. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like again if you enjoyed the video. And of course, subscribe for more iOS 26 videos. And I will see you on the next one.